this was not planned, but I accidentally wore almost the exact same outfit in this video that I did in the last one. Hey guys, Melinda here. A lot of you are probably clicking on this video because you have no idea who I am and you want an honest review of the movie Us. Well, if you haven't seen any of my other movie reviews, what I like to do is review it in a way that doesn't spoil anything in the movie so that way you can still watch this video and then determine if you want to still go see the movie or not in theaters. And a lot of people are not gonna like what I have to say today. <laughs> Movie Reviews with Melinda! Yo. I am reviewing the movie Us Today from Jordan Peele, Monkey Paw Productions, who I highly admire and I think is an amazing filmmaker and content creator, but I gotta tell you, I was a little disappointed in Us. So, without spoiling the film and to give an idea of what the movie's about, this is just based on the trailer. There is this family who in the middle of the night has a different family standing in their driveway. They surround the house and they go inside and reveal that they look exactly like the main characters. They look like their family. I wasn't sure if they were clones or what exactly was going on, but basically from the trailer you get that these lookalikes are gonna try and kill the main ones. Don't know why, but that's what I gathered from the trailer going into it. These look-alikes of the main family are in reality and they are trying to kill the actual family. So where do I start without giving spoilers because that's how I like to review. I guess I'll start with the thing that's been mostly on my mind since I've seen the film and that's the plot twist ending that they have at the end. Did not see it coming. Very unexpected and just out of nowhere. I think with the plot twist ending that they did, they could have executed it so much better. It felt like they just wrote it in. Like they're like, okay, the movie's coming to an end. You know, everything's great. Let's finish it. Oh wait, let's throw in this plot twist ending and just call it a day. Usually when you have plot twist endings, you sprinkle breadcrumbs throughout the entire film that kind of hints at it, but the audience isn't aware that they're hints until the very end. That did not happen in this movie whatsoever. And don't get me wrong, if it was done good, if it was done right, the plot twist ending would have been phenomenal. Nobody would have seen it coming and then when they would have been blown away. It felt like lazy writing to me because yes, it is a stylistic choice whether or not to sprinkle the breadcrumbs, but I, I'm telling you the way that they presented this plot twist ending felt like lazy writing and they just wanted to add one more shabam to the film. Not that it actually had anything to do with the story. And then that kind of plays into some of the other points that I have about the film and that's it all comes down to this plot twist ending. I thought the rest of the film was amazing. It was great. I was entertained on the edge of my seat the entire time. Wasn't scary, mostly suspenseful, which is good because that's what we need in horror movies these days. It's not all about jump scares. It's supposed to be about suspense and keeping your attention and keeping your heart racing, which is what the film did the entire time until the ending. When they presented the ending, it then spirals into a million different questions and not like in a good way. In an example, Inception. If you haven't seen Inception, go see it. I think it's a great film. But the ending of Inception leaves the audience wanting more. Questions such as, is he in this other reality? Is he asleep? Is he awake? Is he imagining this? Like, what's going on? Is he dreaming? It has these good kinds of questions that make the film great because it leaves you wanting more knowing you're never gonna get more. But us, the million questions at the end of the film are not good because it had me questioning Dis writing decisions that they made at the beginning of the film. Lupita, she's been in a lot of films. I think she's a great actress. She's doing well with her career. Her character in the film, from decisions that they made, that they gave her stylistically and characteristics she has at the beginning of the film, do not make sense with the plot twist ending at the end. It's really hard to give an actual review on this movie without spoiling anything because I want to talk about those specific things that occurred. That's just where I'm at right now is that I thought the, gr the film was great throughout the entire thing. Jordan Peele, I have so much respect for him. His production company is amazing and I would love to write for them one day. Love his films, I think he is 
creating something new in the horror genre that hasn't been done since maybe the 80s, the 90s. And it's refreshing and it's great. I do have to give props to Jordan Peele though for having almost an all black cast which was great we need that representation in the film industry these days jordan peele has something great going on with having almost all black cast in his films so i kind of basically have two different critiques for it and that's the film was great the entire time and he should have taken out the plot twist ending. You did not need it. The film was great and you explained everything. Or keep the plot twist ending, but sprinkle breadcrumbs throughout and take out some of the things that were written into the film. They contradict each other, they don't make sense, and not in a good way because sometimes you go to the movie and you're like, this didn't make sense, I don't understand. And then you go see it again and you're like, oh my god, I picked up so much more on this and I kind of understand it now. Versus no matter how many times I will see this film, I'll still have the same questions and say, you didn't answer this. You brought this out of the blue. That's kind of all I pretty much can say about this film without diving into specifics. I would love to have a conversation with somebody who has seen it and talk about the specifics and get their viewpoint on it. As a film major who graduated with a bachelor's degree, who specializes in writing, I look at the writing points of a script to get from beginning to end and there's just too much going on here to complete the story. There is just too many unanswered questions that made me disappointed in the film. I was hyped up for this for several months. I was very excited to go see it and I'm a little sad with how I left. I would probably give this film a 6 out of 10. I still do absolutely recommend that everybody go watch it because despite how it ends and how it gets there, like I've mentioned earlier in the video, this film is not meant to be scary. Scary in the sense of like Halloween when it was released. Michael Myers is around every corner and you're screaming at Jamie Lee Curtis, get out of the house, get out you dumb Like seriously. <laughs> Scary, that it's very suspenseful, thriller-esque, has you on the edge of your seat the entire time, versus Saw, where it's blood and gore and jump scares. It's a great representation of what the horror genre used to be versus what it became when it became modernized in about the 2000s. I do, I absolutely recommend that everybody go see it because it is great in that sense. It's a very neat idea and a great concept that I absolutely recommend that everybody go watch at some point, whether it's in the theaters, on DVD, or on Netflix if it ever gets there one day. <laughs> if you guys are interested in seeing a movie review where I dive into the actual specifics of the film and give spoilers, leave that down in the comments down below because I would love to make it and I'd love to get other people's perspectives. I guess that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It would mean the world to me, even though I know a lot of you are probably going to give me a thumbs down because you're going to argue and say that the movie was great, it was phenomenal, you love it. This is just my opinion. This is how I am critiquing the film. So subscribe if you want to see more content. I have lots of ideas that I will be posting soon. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Live life, always laugh, and enjoy the journey. Bye. Okay, I am removing.